Hello, hello, hello. It's Cassandra Terry, your manifesting miracle maker. And today is Thankful Thursday. And a lot of times when I think about gratitude and what I'm th thankful for, you know, you start thinking about the big ticket items. Oh, I'm thankful for my house. I'm thankful for this or that. But what about just the, the things that are so common in our lives that we don't even put much thought into them? I'm thankful that I'm breathing. Everybody isn't. I am thankful for the air that is in my lungs right now. I'm thankful that I can reach out to you guys and that we can interact. We may never meet face to face, but we're building a community. I'm grateful for that. I did not feel like getting up this morning. I was exhausted, but I got up and I did my workout and I felt so good on the other side. So I'm thankful that I went ahead and went through and did what I know my body needed me to do, even when my mind was telling me, no, nah, girl, sleep, get that extra 30 minutes of sleep. So the point of all that is to say that even when we or really, especially when we're facing something that we really would rather not do, or we're frustrated about something, or there's some sort of neg negative emotion floating around, a lot of the times, the slightest little mindset adjustment can turn that thing around. I, I really believe that. The slightest little mindset adjustment can turn, th turn things around and give you a different attitude, a different outlook, and make you feel better about what was causing you frustration. Just think about that for a minute and think about something that you've got to do later today, later in the week, later in the month. You know, maybe you're the one who prepares the big meals for everybody during the holidays and you just don't feel like it. you're frustrated that you've got to do all this cooking. Got to. That's where the frustration comes from. It, it got to is burdensome. If we change that into a get to, I get to enjoy my family. I get to nourish my family and friends. I get to do something that I'm really good at and share that with people that I care about. Now, the other thing that can help that have to move to a get to is maybe you need to adjust how that thing happens. So if it's gotten to be too much, maybe there's it's a time for you to adjust what that looks like. And so instead of you doing all of it, this year you assign out some things and this person is responsible for that, this one's responsible for that, and we all come together and make something that's enjoyable for everybody. So the challenge is for me and for you is to think about the things in our lives that really cause us frustration. And one, try to think about what also gives us joy um, or what we're grateful for in that same situation. So if, and if you can find the joy in it um, amongst the frustration, then maybe there's just a little bit of a, a attitude adjustment that's needed. Maybe you need a little sleep, you know, maybe there's some self-care that's needed, but take, take the time to determine what is needed. What's holding, what's keeping you from a place of, of gratitude? I think that's some important work that we can, we can all do. So when you're feeling that frustration, why am I frustrated? What's holding me back? What's making this a burden instead of a joy? And if it's something that's internal, then you can make some adjustments. You can move from a have to to a get to. If, it's, if it is external because you've taken on more than you feel like you should or more than, than you feel like you're able to get accomplished in the time that you have, then maybe it's time to delegate or reconstruct how that situation is going to play out. So all of our feelings are valid and they all show up for a reason. And we're so accustomed to either ignoring our feelings or pushing them down that we miss what it is that they're trying to teach us or what they're trying to, uh, the, the new direction that they may be trying to lead us in. So if you find yourself less than thankful on this thankful Thursday, take some time to sit with yourself and really think about where that frustration, discomfort, anger, stress, whatever that negative feeling may be. Really think about where that's coming from and then go, is it something that's happening within me? Is it just how I'm looking at the situation? And if it is, try and move it from a have to to a get to. Try to find the joy in it. And if it's something that's external, 
draw your boundary and make the changes necessary. Life is too short for us to be living with anything less than joy. Life happens and sometimes it's hard. I, I, rec I fully recognize that. However, we don't wanna pile on to that with just negative emotions that are habitual. Um, we are accustomed to, we have these default responses to things. And sometimes life has changed, but we haven't caught up with those changes internally. So the challenge is once again, find your, where that frustration is, find what's holding you back and make the necessary adjustments so that you can live in joy more than anything else. So I'm Cassandra Terry, your Manifesting Miracle Maker. I am a mindset coach, and I look forward to many, many more interactions with you guys. Feel free to use the comments if you've got questions about anything that I'm sharing. Um, if you'd like to talk one-on-one, -on -one, message me, and we can continue the dialogue. I look forward to it. Happy, 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 thankful Thursday.